Okay, Andrew. Uh, good to meet you. This is me, Kareem. I'll be working with you for a little while, man. Um, sometimes we'll do video. Sometimes we'll do FaceTime. We'll just be flexible for however uh, many, you know, however we do it. But the main thing is we'll still help you to uh, accomplish your goals and get the best out of uh, the interaction, okay? Um, to get right into things, we'll start with the song and the key. The key that you chose, you know, the key that it's in. Uh, D flat, C sharp. And we'll go with Total Praise by Richard Smallwood. As a matter of fact, Richard Smallwood is just, he's one of those composers who is very good to study. Um, even to get the simple um, root position changes of his songs will so open your mind, you know. Um, so he's a good one to study in all of all of his um, albums. But we'll go with this one, Total Praise. And uh, we'll start, you know, with the first song. Um, of course, you're already familiar with the D major. Add nine. Um, that's the D flat, E flat, F, A flat, okay? Um, and I'm sure you're also familiar with what's called the D major seven sharp five, okay? Where you have the D major, I mean, we have the D flat, D flat major seven sharp five. We have the D flat, which is the one, the F, which is the three, the A flat would be the five. So when you make that sharp, you move it up a half step to the A, and then you have the C, which is the seven in that instance. And the way the voicing is gonna change, um, we're gonna have the the one, the D flat, the octave lower down here, okay? The F, which is a three, we're gonna have at the top, okay? Um, a lot of chords, when you harmonize them or whatever, usually the melody are, uh, is in the third, so to have the three at the top and then have the other harmonies somewhere in between the one and the three is kind of a cool stretch. Um, and then we're gonna take the C and have it here. moving is the C and the A to a E flat and a C to a D flat and a B. Okay, and at that point, at that point, the chord becomes a D flat add six, which is the one, three, five, and the six of the scale. So you have... up to the one, you know, when you do the Lord, I will live. I'm sure you're probably familiar with this one. It's the B flat, F sharp, or G flat, A flat, D flat, and then again, another F sharp or G flat, okay? All that is, is the F sharp add nine chord, one, three, and five, and then two, which is the nine for F sharp, okay? So you got like a six seven it's a six because you're using the b flat as your bass which makes it six okay and then that whole chord you're just taking it up a whole step so you went from a f sharp major nine to an a flat major nine but the third of that chord, which is the B flat, is at the bottom. And then the third of the A flat, I said major nine, but I meant add nine. F sharp add nine, A flat add nine. And you take the third of that chord and you have it at the bottom. And then you're just doubling up with the one, which is the A flat. You're doubling up with that, okay? Now I said that's the one in, just in relation to the chord itself, not in relation to the key of the song. Okay. 
So like if it's an A flat chord, I might say um, A flat is the one while I'm talking about the chord itself. But when I'm talking about the key of the song, um, this is a six because the bass is on B flat, which is a six in the key. And then this is a seven because the C is a seven in the key of uh, D flat. <clears throat> but according to the chord, which is an A flat at nine, the C is a three in the chord. You understand what I'm saying? Um, if anything, if I say anything that is kind of confusing, you can always text me uh, with the questions or video message me or, you know, whatever. Um, so I can answer those questions if anything is confusing. Um, some things I say may seem like Spanish for a while, but as we deal with each other more and more, it starts to become clear. But always ask questions where you have those questions and, um, you know, we can make everything clear, okay? So we we have the, uh, so after you do that, you know, all that that you have already, the D flat add nine. So my voicing is just with the D flat somewhere down here, E flat, F, A flat, D, okay? You know, you can do little, little things like that whenever you find that you could use them. Probably wouldn't do that in the beginning of the song, but all right. Okay. Also, another way to approach this is right there. So it's still the same thing: B flat, F sharp, A flat, D flat, and an F. And I just slid from the E flat to the F. So you know, and now I'm back to the that chord that I gave you before over the seven. So you got one, six. You know, you can always have little melodic ways that you move between chords too. And that's the, that's the one that I originally wanted to show you, which is the uh, D flat, major seven, sharp five. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a lot in this one. That is the same chord, the octave higher. So that's C, A flat. I mean C, E flat, A flat, B flat, G. You know, you can have another E flat in there. But I, you know, so. Okay. Um, the theory behind this chord, and you can tell me if, like, if I'm giving you too much theory, and you're like, well, I kind of already understand it, so I'm good with you just giving me maybe the name of the chord and the and the arpeggio of the sound, then just let me know. Any because I don't want to overdo it. Um but if you're good with hearing the explanations too, then you know, we'll go from there. But what we'll do is we just give each other constant feedback. Um I'll give you constant feedback of whatever I'm seeing in your playing. And you give me constant feedback of whatever you're seeing in my teaching because we want to address and go right to what it is that you want. You know what I mean? We want to go right to it. So if I'm, uh, I don't want to, I want to spend least time veering away from what it is and the most time going right to it so that you can grow and get the best out of this as possible. You know, of course, there are some things that may not seem, that may not seem as important that I talk about now, but it'll eventually become you'll eventually see its significance or whatever. But um, for the most part, I think you're advanced to where um, you understand what I'm giving you. It's just a different flavor. You know what I mean? It's stuff that you probably could do or you have done, but you know, it's just my flavor to it. And um, as we get feedback, we can turn certain things into exercises so that we make it a part of your arsenal to where you're just automatically doing this stuff in songs, okay? All right. Having said that, and this is a, well, we're in, we're in it nine minutes, so I'm probably going to, I'm going to chop them up in 30 minute segments and send them to you so, um, so that you can have it over your phone and, uh, uh, perhaps, uh, I'll send you, uh, an unlisted, an unlisted, uh, YouTube link that you can go to that'll just be for you to see. No one else will really see it. Okay. 
All right. sharp or G flat, B, D flat, F sharp. So I, I came off of the B flat before I went to the B. Okay. Sometimes you can do, um, okay. And that is an E flat, B flat, D, F sharp, and B flat. Okay. This chord. Well, that's just a B flat major, add nine, and bringing that E flat down here, the third. Okay. Um, when I do it this way, uh, it's now a B flat major nine, and the nine is put here in a two position. Okay. And the E flat is dropped to the bottom of it. And I just slid off of the A, A flat, A, B flat. So, you know, if you're coming around another time and you went straight and now you're trying to come now with a little bit, little busier, a little bit more enhanced, you know, you have that. chord but in a different position now it's with the F sharp so that's a F F D A flat F uh, F sharp E flat <laughs> that's just another thing that I that's a F E flat A E flat D flat G flat or F sharp and D C F okay all pedal point you're all still holding your um B flat in the top and your G flat F sharp at the bottom. You know what I mean? So If you can fit it in, you fit it in. You don't always have to use it. I'm just giving you a demonstration. You can actually stop right there for your heels. Okay. And that's just a, you know, D diminished seven. And then hit the B flat and then come to the A. I mean... minor 11 you know you just do that with the uh, if you can go right here or okay. Okay, that's just a straight B major like you had already you can put the add 9 if you had that D flat it's the add 9 